So the Baltimore Ravens head back to a familiar school that they drafted another defensive end from just a couple years back, that being a Dafe away uh, from Penn State. And this year they draft somebody who he used to play with, who's been at Penn State for, what, the past five years, I believe, that being Adisa Isaac. Welcome to the Baltimore Ravens officially. We're looking forward to to watching you grow, to watching you play, and watching you get to the quarterback. Because like he said, he said, I need that Patrick Mahomes sack. I need that Josh Allen sack. We said, whoa, hold up there, buddy. You got to rephrase that, but we understood exactly what you meant. Team, keep it clean. We are about to go over Adisa Isaac. One of the newest Baltimore Ravens. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton. And hopefully, Isaac can help out the Baltimore Ravens a ton. So, when I watch him play a comp, in my opinion, uh, and y'all will probably know better than me, but I felt like when I watched him, he reminded me of Jason Pierre-Paul. Uh, where he not afraid to initiate contact. I mean, he's a defensive end. You got to do that anyway. But very, very physical, uh, long, long arms. Um, and when he makes contact, especially with the quarterback, with those long arms, he will bring you down. Even if it's not for a sack, even if it's for a QB hit, he's bringing you down um, in, in, a, in a powerful way. It's like when, when he strikes the quarterback uh, from the game that I was watching, he... It's like he he doesn't do it with some with this crazy amount of power, but you could tell that it's a blow that really really hurts. Um, when I watched him, he wasn't like super explosive, but he did have some nice moves in his arsenal. He had a very very powerful bull rush, but also with his swim move, he was creative enough with, with again with them long arms, them long arms creative enough to get around the tackles uh, and make his way to the quarterback. Uh, he didn't seem like he was the fastest. I don't know what his 40 time is, so I can't speak on that. But when I was watching the film on him, he, he wasn't the fastest, but he found a way. Now, with him, oh, yeah, speaking of finding a way, his old teammate Adafe away. Some comparisons with them because – while Adafe away, I think the Baltimore Ravens, they drafted him based off of the crazy, crazy, crazy athleticism. This dude was like like a, a Madden created player because he had crazy speed, good height, good long arms. Like he, he was fast. He just, Adafe away was crazy. But the thing with Adafe away, um, at least in his last year of college, uh, he wasn't very productive. Uh, and that's not a shot at him at all, but just, those are the stats. He wasn't very productive. But then when you look at uh, Adisa Isaac and his last year at the collegiate level, he was pretty productive because uh, his last year, he this past year, he had uh, 16 tackles for loss and seven and a half sacks. Now, of course, he was a beneficiary of being opposite uh, Chop Robinson, who went to the Miami Dolphins. And that was a smart pick by them because – they lost Jalen Phillips uh, late on in the year uh, against the Baltimore Ravens. They lost Bradley Chubb. And that game was like, I think, two weeks before the regular season was getting ready to be done. So smart move of them getting a defensive end that can come in and help right away. But so many people were focused on him that it seems that they forgot about Mr. Isaac. And he said, okay, no problem. I'm going to take advantage with seven and a half sacks. And that's a beautiful thing, and that's what we like to see. Again, people talk about with sacks. Sacks are not everything for a pass rusher. They they certainly not, um, but they do play a very, very big part because like we always say with sacks, if you could bring the quarterback down, uh, not, QB hits are great too, but if you can bring the quarterback down, you close out the play. Now, playing time, what can we expect Seriously, from his playing time. Because we're not just going to come on here and be like, oh, yeah, every single draft pick that the Baltimore Ravens select, they're going to get a, an immense amount of playing time because not all of them are. The Baltimore Ravens have a lot of positions on the roster that are currently filled. And even with a lot of these draft picks, they are rookies, so expectations will be lower for a lot of them. But with uh, Adisa Isaac specifically, you think about the Baltimore Ravens uh, and their current edge group right now. And he's somebody that I actually do think could get significant playing time. Reason being, you got to die fair away. He's there. He'll get his playing time for sure. He's most likely going to be a starter. Nothing set in stone, but he's most likely going to be a starter. You got Calvin Oy. 
He's older, but he came through the scene last year, did his thing, crushed it. He'll get playing time, but he'll need his breaks probably a little more often than Adafi Away will because he's a little older. That's cool. That's fine. Um, you have David Ajabo. This is where things get tricky, in my opinion, because with David Ajabo, again, when he plays, productive, but he just hasn't played yet. So stay ready so you ain't got to get ready just in case he wasn't ready. Or just in case he's still dealing with some of the issues from his injuries last year. Insert Isaac. There he is. And we're not forgetting about Tavius Robinson either. Because he's still there as well. And he was somebody that would come in here and there last year. And I know he got, I think he got, I know he got at least one sack. He might have got two, but he came in. He looked solid. We, we, the, the jury's still out. We, we got to see him some more. But it's not like. He wasn't out there looking bad. He just wasn't out there that much because there was Jadavian Clowney. There was Calvin Noy. There was uh, Adal Fairway. So he had all these guys that were in front of him last year. So with Tavius Robinson, it just, he couldn't be out there like that. Um, so with Isaac, I do think that he has a chance to really get a uh, significant playing time and just to be in that rotation when it comes to the defensive ends, the outside linebackers, the edge guys, just for him uh, to be in the mix when it comes to that. So we'll see soon. Again, what he is all about. But, again, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, he reminded me of JPP, Jason Pierre-Paul, former Baltimore Raven, by the way. So, hey, shout out to him. But, so, yeah, we will get you caught up on all the rest of the Baltimore Ravens draft picks. We ain't done yet. We got plenty more coming for you. And so you don't miss any of the updates with the newest Baltimore Ravens, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video, not a single update, nothing. And leave a like on the video because it helps the channel out. It helps us and it helps you too because it helps you to recommend the videos to your team. Keep it clean. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Uh, we back. We back. We back. The draft got a lot of people's adrenaline pumping again for football. So we loving it.